What is up, everyone out there in YouTube? This here be your old Grunkle Spoon here, bringing you a bit more of some tutorials in Terraria. These are some basic, basic guides on, on how to do basic things for beginners. Basic. I just want to say that one more time to make sure my basis covers. Anyways, today, as the title shows, I'm going to explain to you just like the briefest overview of alchemy, like bottling water, how to make an alchemy table, uh, I guess also how to make a furnace, because you know, basic. Um, and then just like a few basic recipes. Uh, this is for all like pre-hard mode stuff. I think I might have some hard mode potions, but I'm pretty sure they're all pre-hard mode. Anyways, let's jump right in. The first thing you need to make is, of course, a workbench. So let's go ahead and craft one of those. Workbenches, as you can see, cost 10 wood to craft. You get wood from chopping down trees. Anyways, let's go ahead and place down our workbench. Now that we have a workbench, we can craft more things. So, let us craft ourselves a furnace. 20 stone, 4 wood, and 3 torches. Boom! Furnace crafted. Place that there. Now that we have a furnace, we can make glass. Glass, you need 2 sand to make 1 glass. So let's go ahead and just craft all of the sand that I have into a bunch of glass. Boom. Alright, sand, you're gone. You're dead to me, sand. Dead to me. Um, now, we go make bottles with the glass, and to make bottles, it's a, it's complete opposite. One brick of glass makes two bottles, so let's go ahead and make all of the bottles. All of the bottles. Boom. There. Now we have bottles. Uh, now to make an alchemy table, you take any table, whether it be workbench or your regular table, and you just put a bottle on it like that. Now it's an alchemy table. Now. Here comes the tricky part, how to bottle water. This took me a while to figure out when I first started playing Terraria. But it's actually very simple. You just go to, over to any water source, anything whatsoever, no matter how much or how little it is. As you can see, I got this little spot of water, making a pretty little waterfall. You push craft, boom, and there it is. Water bottle. You sit there and you, you craft away. Now we have 30 bottled water. And you see, water is actually really cool, or bottles, are a really cool item because you can put anything in them really. Uh, it's getting dark here. There's my torches. Well, just about anything in them. Uh, like uh, one of the things you could do with them is if you have stars, you can put a star in a bottle. Yay! And that becomes just a little uh, light fitch light lighting feature or yeah. I don't really want to place this. Place you right here. And it comes a little, just a little lantern. It's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, anyways, back to crafting. Uh, potions, that is. Anyways, let's craft us a, uh, I don't know, some of the some of the really useful key potions for starting off. Regeneration potions. You'll get all this stuff by running across the top of your <laughs> surface, on the surface of your world. Anyways, you can see you need one day bloom and one mushroom and a bottle of water to craft a uh, regeneration potion. Lasts for five minutes and you regain health. Uh, what's another really useful one? A swiftness potion. These are also really useful. If you don't have Hermes boots just yet, you can make a swiftness potion and you get a 25% speed increase. Let's go ahead and craft one of these as well. As you can see, it's a cactus and a blink root. A gills potion. Let's make some gills potions. These, these help you breathe underwater. How useful is that? Answer, incredibly. So let's go ahead and cra and that, that is water leaf and coral. Both of those are found uh, by your ocean on either side of your world. So let's go ahead and craft that. Toss you, snow. Uh, ooh. Boom, all right, ooh, dang it, I wanted to, I guess I still have that. And this is a battle potion. This is useful if you're trying to farm for stuff, but uh, as you can see, Battle Potion, it's one Death Weed and one Vertebra. If you have Crimson, if you have Corruption, it will be Spoiled Meat or Rotten Meat. I think it's, yes, it's called Rotten Meat. Um, there was one more, but I think I might have acts. nope, there it is. Obsidian Potion. This thing is amazing. Immune to Lava. Super useful. Super useful, especially when you're, when you're uh, mining for... Uh, 
Hellstone. <laughs> yeah, Hellstone. Why, why was I questioning myself? Anyways, when you're mining for when you're mining for Hellstone, and that is, as you can see, a bottle of water, fire bloom, water leaf, and obsidian. So let's go ahead and craft one of these. Uh, look at these potions. Anyways, like I said, this is just basics. And if you have any questions on like how to make any potions, you just take any of the materials that you that you have and you go and talk to your guide. You just say like, "Hey guide, let's go let's go talk to the guide right now." That's why they, the guide used to be completely useless. We All right. So like Hey guide, what's his name? Hey Joe, what do you know? Uh, what can I use this with? This moon glow. And the moon glow, you can make magic power potions, spelunker potions. Most useful potion a newbie can use. This will help you. This will illuminate uh, anything of value underground or above ground. Um, yeah, I think these are these are flasks. Flasks, flasks are a completely different thing. Um, but, yeah. Potions. Oh! And, if you're playing on the PC, B uses all of the potions up at once. Well, consumes all the ones that you have. Super useful, right? And if you're there on YouTube, I hope you guys found this informative. And, uh, you know, if this helped you, leave me a like, because that helps me. Uh, and importantly, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm kind of losing it. I'm tired. So, so tired. Midterms, just midterms. Anyways, out there on YouTube, thanks for watching. I hope you guys found this informative. And of course, have a good day.